thanks. So my project involves working with people who have lost their ability to use language. Um, but there's nothing really fun to show you yet for it. I haven't shot, so I figured I would talk about two vaguely related projects having to do with language and memory that the grant has supported in the past year. Next. Uh, which are my first narrative film, Greystone, and my first live performance, Critical Mass. Next. Greystone is a mansion in Beverly Hills built in the 1920s by an oil tycoon named Edward Doheny Sr. for his son, Doheny Jr. Next. Before construction was even completed, Sr. was indicted in the infamous Teapot Dome bribery scandal. Doheny Jr. and his secretary were th the men that were accused of delivering the bribe. Next. Unfortunately for Doheny Jr. and the secretary, both died violently in the mansion just months after moving in. Tragic and strange, but also convenient because obviously dead men can't testify. Next. There was never an inquest. Everybody blamed the secretary despite a tremendous amount of evidence to the contrary. Next. Around the time that I received my Creative Capital grant, I was also invited to propose a work that would be shown at Greystone Mansion and I started to obsess about what might really have happened that night between these two young men who'd known each other since boyhood and who most people believe were lovers. Next, oh yeah. Um, you've actually seen Greystone Mansion if you've ever watched Eraserhead, X-Men, The Big Lebowski, or There Will Be Blood. Walking through the place today is incredibly uncanny. I figured that if I tracked down and transcribed every scene of cinematic history that took place at the mansion, I might be able to do something with the dialogue, might be able to use it as a lexicon for a new original script. Next. The coincidences were countless and astonishing. Next. The script for Greystone practically wrote itself. In the end, the men die five different plausible ways in my film, and every word they say comes from scenes shot at Greystone Mansion. The film will be included in views from the avant-garde at Lincoln Center this October if you'd like to see it. Next. It's all right. No, it's not. Look, Joe, I know how you feel about publicity. <coughs> I don't like it any more than you do, but I'm not crazy. That's not what this is all about. Oh, no? I don't know God why you're bothering me. damn it, we've been me. friends for 20 years. I know, and I'm sorry. <coughs> I'd like to call my own doctor. Please don't. <coughs> Stop. Get me Dr. Menville. Don't say another word! What are you doing? Someone just knocked over some furniture. Sounds like an end table with tchotchkes on it. Yes, madam. Next. In 1971, Hollis Frampton set up and filmed an improvised argument between two young adults. He duped the film, cut it into hundreds of snippets, and reassembled it. The result is a 25-minute long, incredible feat of both structural and anthropological filmmaking. Next. I saw this film, and I loved it, and I wondered what would happen if the piece were restaged as a live performance, with two actors memorizing and re-performing the film cut for cut. We staged the work at the Tate in October and MoMA in May, and then documented the performance in video. This is a very short excerpt of that documentation. Next. Now exact, now exact, now exactly what's involved, what's involved, what's involved here. I mean, what here? I mean, what here? I mean, what, what? I don't, what? I don't, what? I don't have to know? What am I? Have to know? What am I? Have to know? What am I? Some, some, it, um, some, it, um, some ignorant, what's in, nurent, what's involved here is, involved here is my, involved here is my, involved here is my, involved here is my, um, here is my, here is my own life and my own, own life and my own, own life and my own privacy when I want privacy, when I want privacy, when I want it. That's what's involved. That's what's involved. That's what's involved here. Here. 
Well, I'm so well, I'm sorry. That's sorry. That's just a sorry. That's just a that's just a, a certain amount, certain amount, an amount of amount of privacy, amount of privacy that you can't have, can't have, can't have when you live have when you're living with another when you're living with another when you're living with another per it, with another per it, and with another person would, when you're would it have, when would it you're have responsible. Made a made a difference. I mean, we don't. I mean, we don't just share. It, and we don't just share it, the same share it, the same bed the same bedroom. But listen, bedroom, but listen, room, listen. You know, would it have, would it have made? Know, a, I mean, that's not. No, I mean, that's not where it's at. Thank you.